Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is teacher eligibility test paper 2 social studies class 6. In the previous class we have discussed 5th and 6th chapters. Today we are going to do 7th and 8th chapters of history. 7th one is emergence of kingdoms and republics. Which rivers flow between the Himalayas and the hills of the Deccan Plateau and are called the Gangetic Valley. They are Ganga and Yamuna. Who were the people of different tribes who settled down to practice agriculture in convenient parts of the Gangetic Valley? They were Sakyas, Lichavis, Mallas, Videhas. What were these tribes of the Gangetic Valley? called they were called jana in sanskrit what was the name of the place where these tribes of the gangetic valley settled that is janapada how many years ago did people begin to settle down along the gangetic valley in large numbers some 2700 years ago now let's see this here Mahajanapada, 16 Mahajanapadas are very very important, spread all over India here. This was the large empire that is Kamboja, Gandhara, Kuru, Surasena, Matsya, Avanti, Asmaka, Chedi, Vatsa, Kosala, Panchala, Malla, Vajji, Magadha, Kashi, Anga. These are very very important Janapadas, Mahajanapadas, 16 Mahajanapadas. Seeing this map, we can fill all these questions. You can do this. Uh, please do pause it and you can do this exercise. Let's continue with the questions. What were the large groups of villages and towns in the Gangetic Plain called? They are called Mahajanapadas or Big Janapadas. Name the two important archaeological sites at the time of Mahajanapadas. They were Hastinapura, that is modern Delhi, then Atranjikhera, Kausambi, near Allahabad, then Patliputra. Name the important books written during the period of Mahajanapadas. They were Upanishads, Dharma, Dharma Sutras, then Diganikaya, and Diga Nikaya, then Majji, Man, Majjima Nikaya, then Herodotus history, etc. Then let us understand the points very very important. Uh, it can come as statements related to Upanishads. They are the part of the Vedic books and Upanishads means coming and sitting near. Upa means near, Upanishads. That means earlier students used to sit near the Guru and they used to learn. That is why Upanishads they were written. That is coming and sitting near. The books have dialogues between teachers and students. These books try to answer questions like where have we come from or where will we go after death. These are the very very important points uh, in the questions they can ask which are the correct statements or which are not correct. Like that questions may come. Now who were Grihapatis or Grihapatis? Spelling difference. Gahapatis and Grihapatis. Agriculture was managed by landowners called Grihapatis or Gahapatis who were usually worked along with the with their family members on the fields during Mahajanapada period. Now Mahajanapadas also employed dasas or slaves who were probably captured in wars and sold to farmers and workers bhatrukas, bhartukas or who worked on their fields and homes in return for wages. These statements are also very very important. Now, what were the two major changes that happened in agriculture during the Mahajanapada period? That is use of iron plowshare and plantation of paddy saplings which improved agriculture productivity. Now, the largest landowner became the headman of the village. He was the leader of the village. He was also used by the king to 
collect taxes from villagers. He also acted as the judge and sometimes as a policeman to maintain law and order in the village. This may have helped many headmen to increase their power and resources in the villages. These points are very important related to landowners. These large landowners were the headmen of the village and also leader of the villages and they used to collect taxes and they were the judges also sometimes and also policemen. These are the very very important points related to largest landowners who became the headman of the village during the Mahajanapada period. In most of the villages there were craft persons. These are also very important who were the blacksmiths made tools necessary for agriculture like plow, shares, sickles, axes, arrow etc. Then potters made pots for cooking and storing grains. Then carpenters made carts, ploughs, furniture etc. Weavers wove cloth for the villagers. The potters made earthen pots that means made of clay. Some of these were grey in colour, others were red. One special type of pottery found at these sites is known as painted grey ware. Those grey pots contain designs usually simple lines and geometric patterns. Now what was Bhaga? The kings began to collect regular taxes from the Grihapatis who cultivated the land. The Grihapatis had to divide their crops into six equal parts and give one part to the king that was called Bhaga. Now during which period the use of coins had just begun that was Mahajanapada period. What does the term Gana means? That is people of equal status. What does the term Sangha mean? Assembly. What was the Ganas, Ganasangas? Combined word that is the Ganasangas. They covered a small geographical area ruled by an elite group. Now a kingdom means a territory ruled by a king or queen. In a kingdom that is monarchy, a family which rules for a long period becomes a dynasty. That is usually these kingdoms adhere to orthodox Vedic traditions. Now Magadha was spread on both sides of which river? That is the river Ganga. Who were the early kings who built Magadha? That is Bimbisara and his son Ajata Shatru. During whose time did the Magadha kingdom extend from the northwestern part of India to Odisha? That is Mahapadmananda was another powerful ruler of Magadha. Now who had a Gana form of government that is the Vajji Mahajanapada that was to the north of Magadha. Here is again that you can see north of Magadha Vajji here comes. You can see clearly north of Magadha here Vajji. Map understanding is very very important to answer all the questions. Who ruled Gana? That was ruled by a group of rulers instead of a single ruler. Sometimes even a number of men ruled together and each of them was called a Raja. Who performed rituals, met and took decisions on issues of common interest in assemblies through discussion and debate? A group of rulers or Rajas. Who were not allowed to participate in those assemblies? Women, slaves and wage earners were not allowed. Who belonged to Gana and became famous teachers and were respected in all Mahajanapadas? That is Buddha and Mahavira. Now how long did the Ganas remain active even though the kings tried to conquer them? That is more than 1500 years. They were active. Who conquered Ganas? That is Gupta kings. Who was the ruler of Macedonia? That is Greece wanted to become a world conqueror. That was Alexander. Who codified Jainism? Mahavira. And who found Buddhism? Siddhartha. Who were not satisfied with the Vedic rituals of that period and questioned the authority of the Vedas? That was Siddhartha and Mahavira. 
Besides Jainism and Buddhism, who were other religions that questioned the supremacy of Vedas, that is Lokayata and Ajivaka? Which school of art developed in the region around Takshashila under the influence of Greek art, that was the Gandhara? Now, realistic, proportionate and delicate work in stone were some of the characteristic features of which style of art, that was the Gandhara. Many images of Gautama Buddha have been sculptured in which style that was in Gandhara. Then Diganikaya, a Buddhist scripture, the first of the five Nikaya in the Sutta Pitika. Then Majjima Nikaya, a Buddhist scripture, the second of the five Nikayas in the Sutta Pitika. Now, the next chapter, very, very important. Many questions are here. Uh, I will continue this in the next video so that it will be easy for you to practice the questions. Thanks for your attention and time. I will come up with the next chapter. Until then, happy learning.